Good evening, everyone. My name is Levin Jai, and this is The Nation Today. Coming up tonight, President Adama Barrow treats NPP candidates' allies to iftar dinner. We have that report for you, but also regarding the National Assembly elections, we'll be hearing from what the citizens are saying. Also, the countdown, really, regarding the Saturday's National Assembly election. Uh, there, Turkey has also donated security gadgets to Gambia armed forces. Uh, we have all of those reports for you, but also tonight I'll be interviewing Professor Momodou Ba, coalition partner of President Adama Barrow. Well, he was an independent aspirant presidential candidate. His uh, candidacy uh, fell apart. He then later backed President Adama Barrow in the lead up to the, the 2021 presidential election. He will be my guest for tonight. But before all of that. <music> Now, let's begin with my take for tonight. The citizens will be paying more for transport fare beginning next week, Monday. This is according to the Minister of Transport. The Transport Ministry said on Tuesday it has struck a deal with the drivers regarding transport fare. The drivers have been complaining that the price of fuel really has been increasing while the transport fares remain where they are. Now, if you are someone traveling from Brikama to, let's say, Westfield, you will now be paying $25. Uh, if you go by the new uh, fares there, that will come into effect on Monday. You, previously, um, citizens are paying $18. Now you will be paying $25 for that uh, journey or that trip. While a reasonable increase on trans transport fare to match the increase on fuel is understandable, it is the pain of the it is the pain that the drivers inflict on the people that we should be talking about, really. A driver, for example, a driver will make four or five short trips, let's say between Brikama and Westfield, just to make more money, uh, instead, of, instead of a direct trip from Brikama to Westfield. So really, this is causing a lot of problems um, um, for the citizens there. So let's also look at it this way. This is a huge problem, like I said, for the citizens. They are complaining daily about this issue. Someone would spend sometimes $200, $300 just to go to work and go back to where he lives. So this is a problem. And I believe that the government should really do something about this too. That will be all for my take tonight. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. So President Adam Barrow has treated NPP candidates in the West Coast region and the KM to iftar dinner at the State House. Also invited were his allies, coalition allies, 2021 coalition partners. Justice Dabo, that's Mori Justice Dabo, the editor-in-chief of the Star TV, was at the State House and he came through with this report. As the countdown to the National Assembly elections begin, President Adam Barrow on Monday hosted at State House an Iftar dinner for NPP candidates and coalition partners. The Iftar, which came barely five days before votes are cast, was not only a culinary and gastronomic event, but was also meant to allow the President and candidates meet and associate in a convivial atmosphere. It will be recalled that President Adam Barrow recently returned from a whole nation tour to ramp up support for NPP candidates and those of the partner parties. The significance of these elections is not lost on the NPP as the party continues to employ every tool in its toolbox and ammunition in its arsenal to dominate the legislature. And the Gambian leader has himself confirmed this at Monday's dinner. On the 4th of December 2021, we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this. The first test is that we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this. We will be able to do this and we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this. We will be able to do this and we will be able to do this and we will be able to do this. Miri, nunggu dah hewan, bukan wujud konon. Wajar kor, mohon force, mohon tanya dah kalau konon. 
ndengalon ne ko gambia be la julole ben na campagne be kala wato me momansi momansi no a bele ate o sidi fonte gagner dam fanan lafto wala kala nun yo dan ngamuru muru fo mo be gagner according to president baro he owes gambians an obligation for giving him a comprehensive victory in the last general election hence his recent countrywide tour to express appreciation to supporters the president said though he was not on the campaign trail he has always been campaigning for the npp candidates and allies the gambian leader made an apology to the people of west coast region kanifi municipality and banjul for not being able to hit the grounds due to the ramadan bari sungaro kono si se kunan gol si ata gambia kono jarne mamira campagne be ben nola sungaro kono why not ah wasi se kunna bar nay fi lolo waral campagne de muna anto si biri wer ko o to be apologize la kmc ani west coast ani banjun melia kendi mel ko ni sungaro ya kendi fo manna campagne ken hol blan kon nak dilal ban aha kmc eh west coast an banjun li waral mun ma ñew defal campagne comme ni ngeen ko bugge won yen But the president wants the NPP to do better in this election than the general election. He expressed the conviction that the NPP and allies could achieve this if they are united. Speaking earlier, Deputy National Secretary of NPP Dr. Dembu Sabili thanked President Baro for inviting the NPP family to an iftar. His Excellency President Adama Baro for that. Your Excellency the Grand His Excellency Adama Baro. I NPP Dimbaya men ko mandina jambi. Eh debot NPP bu mo fi tay. kana bi ka suntera ngo dada kere kere dada mpp ng kole pour na si nga su ngote nga duwanyo e nga his excellency nga ni mbara wala the minister of information ibrahim silla congratulated president baro on behalf of west coast region before reminding him that the campaign was on course in the region he gave the president an assurance of thundering victory for the mpp candidates and allies my excellency ntol west coast be tentula be jay la bak yes excellency min wa west coast ni mere gerem di la santa kabo kalaji bridge yana nan fo katong ye jinan nan burfut la fo yana nan fo sukuta politiko bita ka nyama banna kato dama beke kan andu nyum dibitel min ya lon ko ngel londi ning ala sonta yo excellency mba katala ko ngaje ko be gani report on for star tv news this is momodu justice dabo so now the national assembly elections are upon us on saturday gambians will head back to the polls to elect their representatives so uh, the star tv's our sane went out and about to get public views and she came through with this report in conformity with the constitutional provision that makes the election of national assembly members mandatory three months after the date of election of president gambian electorate will go to the polls on saturday to elect their representatives for the legislature already members of the public have been speaking of their expectations as far as these fast approaching elections are concerned elizabeth juf would like candidates to dedicate greater attention and energy to the development of their constituencies especially in the domains of youth employment and roads infrastructure reduction of food prices is also on elizabeth's wish list as far as these legislative elections are concerned she would also like the winning candidate to dig a grave for the waste problem in her area which she said poses health hazard and numerous problems during the rainy season well you might expect some mom make a good leader that so ko yalla dimbale mu win place parce que halé la I am going to vote for our candidate MC Cham because he is a youth and knows the challenges we go through. I'm sure he will be able to empower his fellow youths by fulfilling their aspirations. Ni ni tang dey degro ci mom so da ma expect na tang su toge war na def lo xamne lu raw lo wingi ñi xamne ko MC Cham ni mo lu ñoo degal ni muy wax ci mom mun nako nekku waxi kessé man da lo la gis. Francis Jubilee Sambo is a resident of Joswa and he advised the aspiring candidates not to forsake those who would vote them into office and he is more concerned about security health and education 
prospective voter Aisa Tujata explained that the reason for voting is representation and therefore urge candidates to represent their people and that they should do it well. Aisa to also expect good roads and limitless development in all the constituencies. Musa Malikba is also looking forward to Saturday's poll and has already decided as to who he will vote for and why. For Star TV News, I am Awasani. Now, the final countdown to the National Assembly elections there on Saturday has begun. So Hadi M. Jaju tells us more regarding the countdown. The NPP is in for a bitter fight for the control of the legislature after losing faith in the judicial processes for the annulment of the December 4 poll results. The main opposition, UDP, has now the legislature in its side. GDC is meanwhile hoping to retain some of its seats and to even make some enrolls whilst this year's polls saw a ballooning of independent candidates, mainly of suits of the ruling NPP. Despite the lack of euphoria in these elections as opposed to the general election, it will appear the significance of the polls has not been lost on serious political parties and they are literally moving heaven and earth to make their mark. Meanwhile, the Gambian leader, also the Secretary General of NPP, is himself leading the party's war efforts for minds and hearts. Last week, he returned to the coast from the hinterland where he waged a campaign for close to 10 days for the re-election and election of his party's candidates. But the battleground for hearts and minds have been constantly sifting as the opposition and independents have also been burrowing the ground and launching their own blitz. About 150 candidates have declared their intention to represent their people in the House. The PDOS has filled the 22 candidates, UDP 36 and APRC 5. The NPP is sponsoring candidates in all the constituencies except where their partner parties have put up candidates. Now the question lingering on the minds of many is, which party will dominate the House come April 9? For Star TV News, I am Hadi M. Jaju. And now, the Turkish embassy in the Gambia Wednesday handed over security gadgets to the Gambia armed forces. The items were handed over at a brief ceremony held at the army headquarters in Banjul. Defense and security correspondent Modu El Baji reports. Aside this donation, the Gambia armed forces have significantly benefited from many years of Turkish Gambia military relations. Recently, 500 personnel of Gambia Armed Forces were in Turkey for capacity enhancement and before that, the two countries have enjoyed fruitful collaboration in the areas of education, health, infrastructural development, security, among others. The Turkish Deputy Ambassador to the Gambia, Delera Salmali, described the Gambia as a model in the region as a result of its many years of tranquility and the favorable political climate. She added that Ankara is ramping up efforts in consolidating ties with Banjul. As well, the Gambia has been playing an active role in the international security by participating in several UN peacekeeping operations in different parts of Africa. As you know, we have successfully concluded UN peace support operation trainings in Turkey just recently. In this regard, we are developing our bilateral relations in every possible field, including military and defense cooperation. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Major General Yakuba Drame, described the gesture as very significant, adding that the donation was a continuation of the previous support received from the Turkish government. CDS Drame stressed that the military cooperation between the two countries is characterized by mutual trust and respect. A very important military items from a friendly country, from a friendly institution, i.e., the Turkish government, and by extension the Turkish armed forces, to their brothers and sisters of the Gambia armed forces. This is a continuation of many, many donations that we've received during the period on the review. Perhaps allow me to go into our relationship. The relationship between the two institutions, to be more precise, the Gambia armed forces, and, of course, the Turkish armed forces spans over three decades ago. 
And it's a relationship that is characterized by mutual trust and respect. CDS Drame said the donated equipment will enhance the operational readiness of the Gambia Armed Forces. The donated materials included communication devices, helmets, shields, and oxygen filters. For Star TV, I am Odo Elbaji. Thank you. So tonight I will be speaking to Professor Momodou Ba. He was an, an aspirant presidential candidate in the 2021 presidential election. He, he, he lost, his bid wasn't successful. He later joined President Anna Baro, backed the president uh, throughout the 2021 presidential election and the president ended up winning that election. He will be my guest tonight. Prof, thank you for coming on my show tonight. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Let's begin with that. Your decision to back President Adam Barrow. There were various choices. You went with President Barrow. Why did you decide to support the president? Uh, thank you very much. Rabbi Israhli Sadri, wa Yasirli Amri, wa Ahlul Uhdatan Milisani, ya Fawhawli, Subhanaka la ilmalana, illa malam tana, inna kantan alimun hakim. Yes, um, we decided to go to uh, President Barrow because I consulted my base and they decided that we should go there. And President Barrow, through one of his ministers, contacted me. And then we decided, we analyzed the situation and see that uh, he was the best candidate that matched with our ideals. And we decided to, to support him. What are your ideals? Yeah, um, uh, if you know President Barrow, you know he's a Democrat. He's somebody who is peaceful. And after some investigation, I found out that he, he was working for the, for the country. And then we decided we needed to give him a chance in order to continue what, what he was doing. So you could not see that in the other candidates? That was Dabo, that was Mama Kande, that was Esafal, that was even Abdullah Jamme. Yes, he, he was better experienced than all of us because you were talking about at least a five years experience in terms of leadership in terms of running the country, five years experience. And then, you know, that he was far ahead of us. And that was not only the, uh, the, that was not the only factor as well. But you, should, you, you have to consider also the, 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 the context in which we, we were. We needed a, a unifier. We needed somebody who would bind our country together. And we saw that in, in him. You, you talked about your base. In which part of the country are you most popular? Yes, I am from two areas. I was born in Sinjubaria, and then my parent, my, my mom comes from Nyamina Sotokoy. So the Nyamina is, is, is my base, and Kombo Costa Road also is my base. But we, we also had uh, supporters all over the country. I know, I mean, when some of you people started flocking to President Barrow, it was some sort of an exodus, and you have people who weren't impressed, who looked at some of you people and say, these are just opportunists. They are joining President Barrow uh, because they just, I mean, they just want a job. I mean, what do you say to some of these claims? Yeah, it's, it, it's normal for them to, to, to say that, you know, 
because that is what they believe in. But for me, I believe in the contrary. Uh, I believe that if you want to change, you have to be part of the system. You have to be inside in order to change. So it is normal for them to say that because they didn't know me. Uh, uh, most of them, that was the first time seeing me in public. Um, I was running for president, so I think they have to do their homework, you know, to find who I am. You know, um, I did not come to seek for a job because I already have a job. I live an unpaid job in Senegal. I'm a, a qualified a professional teacher, and then um, I have a very good salary. So uh, uh, because I want to, I want my country to change. I have ideas. I have a vision that I wanted to share with my with my country, and this is why I I came. It's most of those people who are saying that it's because they didn't know me. I mean, initially you wanted to be president yourself. Now you are saying if you want to change the system, you have to be in the system. But yeah. the mere fact that you decided to run mm. uh, probably is because you are not impressed by the work that the man, the, quo, yeah. the current yeah. president mm. is doing. This is why you want to replace him. And now you are joining someone that you were not initially impressed with in terms of the work that he is doing. How do you explain yes, that? Yes, you know, I, I came with, with, a, with, a, with a vision called uh, 433 Attack. And this um, is about a political vision comprising of 18 articles, political uh, articles in every sex sector of the, of, of, of the country, in all the areas of development, of at least um, written some 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 ideas about it and how the country should should move. So uh, it will be a great loss for me to uh, work with someone who is going to he's not going to win. The idea here is to work with somebody who is going to win, so that you can uh, make your ideas to be to be to be to be known. How did you or, know or, that or, President or, or, Barrow, Barrow was going to win? Uh, that was uh, that was um, that was a hard fact. Uh, at least I'm a political analyst. I did my uh, ma master, master two thesis on politics and foreign policy of the Gambia from independence to 2014. So at least I knew the political landscape and the political situation of the country. So I could tell from just by looking at what was going on in the ground. Uh, but, but, but tell us about the variables, uh, specifically what are, what are some of the variables that you saw yeah, that, that pointed to a President Adam Barrow victory? Yes, um, um, I started with my base, with my base. It was a composer of all other political parties. When I came, many people, some people were in UDP, others were in DOI, others were in FAL, or many others were in, in NPP. So they all joined uh, with me. So when I, uh, I, I, I asked them, I consulted them. So majority of them said NPP. So that, 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 that's a good way of doing a, a, a polling. And also, like, if you enter in a commercial vehicle, you know, you hear people talking. You know, I'm, I'm going to vote for this, I'm going to vote for that. So you, from that, you would be able to know. So by gathering all that fact, we knew that uh, President Barrow was going to win. So in terms of, um, I mean, you came to be known as Mr. Vitamin C. I mean, you grabbed all the headlines, uh, whether the right, the, the right reasons or wrong reasons, but you grabbed all the headlines. You came out and said the Gambia lacked vitamin C. I mean, you have someone who is sitting in Fadodo and saying, hey, but what, what is this man talking about? What do you mean about this vitamin C thing? Yes, um, actually, that was... Uh a punchline by the by the media. You know, when you talk, the media <laughs> always you know try to uh, um, take really, something. Was it a point punchline? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, that was a punchline because what I said, the, the the country was sick, and we needed vitamin C. You know, someone that is sick, you have to ask, what what is that sickness about? I was talking about lack of employment. I was talking about violence. I was talking about poverty and so many other issues. But now I brought the solution. And that has had a link with, uh, with my caller, the caller that I uh, was nominated for during the... But that was election. someone's yeah, caller. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, but, but, but the orange. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean orange. Yes. I later added uh, black there. Yes. But the orange, if you take orange itself, orange is vitamin C, and it is a remedy. And like, let's say, vitamin C is all about the 433, the solutions that we brought to that sickness. That's what we meant by 
vitamin C. Well, do you still subscribe to that view of yours that the country is sick in terms of some of these myriad of problems that you are talking about? Um, um, those problems are still here, and this is why we are working with the president. We are getting closer to the president so that we can help him on our own ways. What, we, what, we, what can we, you bring to the table, table Sorry, in terms of some of these problems? Let's we, say, uh, let's talk about cost of living, for example. What can uh, Professor Mudubah do in helping the president address that? Yes, you know, concerning the cost of living, you have to know something. It is not only um, national, it is global. This is a global issue. And today, even if you read, I think you said it on your media, uh, uh, Lea Hussein Dabo mentioned something about that. Yes. The, the, the control, controlling of high, high prices. What we can do now is to control the high prices, the, high, uh, the, the, the rising of basic com commodities. That is what we can do. How are you going to control it? Very good. You. To control that, um, what you just need to do is to uh, dispatch a rescue package. Uh, you dispatch a rescue package in order to subsidize the, 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 the prices of uh, basic commodities. For example, you can put, let's say, uh, one billion dollars. <laughs> right. no, no, I'm just giving you an okay. example. All right. okay. uh, in in right. rice, right. In, like in, in, in the prices of rice, um, um, uh, cooking oil, and those basic stuffs that we need, so that at least that will reduce drastically the, 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 the prices. But after that also, we need to control the prices. We need to have strong agents who would who, who will specifically look at those basic commodities, because there are some people who increase it uh, at their own will, without even uh, having any rise somewhere else. Because this doesn't depend on us. But most of the time, the way you can do it is in order to subsidize those food items for, 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 the, for the prices to re reduce drastically. The, the, the National Assembly elections, um, it is, it's due in, in about 48 hours. Uh, why didn't you contest? Yeah, for me, it is not time for me to talk. Um, for me, it is time for me to act. I came to act. I came to apply what I have. So going to the National Assembly, it means I'm going to talk. And I'm not ready to talk. Why are you not ready to talk? Are you saying that the National Assembly is strictly uh, to talk? That's it. Nothing else. Talk, talk, and talk. In terms of when you say you want to act, what exactly do you want to do? I want to apply. I want to, I want to apply what I have for the government people. I want you to tell me, okay, this is the uh, most critical aspect of our, of our government today. I want you to solve it. This is what I am ready for. This is what you want to do. Yes, this is what but, I. But but I mean, let's 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 uh, talk about this then, because the reason why I asked you about Parliament, um, I have come across uh, claims that before you, I mean, you are an open coming politician, a budding politician, before you uh, uh, think about holding positions or jobs in government, you should first start from the grassroots as a politician to go and represent your people. That way you can have that, uh, I mean, I mean, interaction and all of that. You know their problems uh, and how to go about really addressing them. Yeah, I believe that that is not written in any political textbook. That is just their ideas. Okay, but for me, I believe knowing your, uh, I grew up, grew up in poverty. I grew up in the street. I knew the sufferings of my people. This is why I wanted to run for president. So I already know what, the, what, 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 what people are, are living. You know, some people have just one meal in a day, and others even have difficulty in order to even have to, to put food on their table. So this is why we, 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 we are running for president, to get the job done. So um, I am not part of those people who think that you know, they will have to run for, for MP in order to be known and then later on um, rise up. So I decided to come from the top in order for the people to know what I have. Because people are different. Maybe what is in me is not in someone else. I brought tangible things. Those are the 433 attack.
you know everything is here we will talk about your two books your 433 development book there but also let me bring you a, big, a bit back you were rejected by the independent electoral commission you did not protest i mean i've seen some of your peers protest i mean you were uh, you know uh, found not, uh, not to be able to uh, collect as many signatures as the law required you did not protest why yeah, actually, I didn't want to talk about the past because normally, just like crying over spilled water or spilled milk. But are you said you had enough signatures. You did. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we did. But you know, what was the essence of um, um, going back? You know, and then when you know that you know uh, you won't run, so it was better for me to 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 look for other alternatives. That's what I did exactly without wasting my time running on court issues. This and that. This Some of your it, colleagues did, and they were successful. Yeah, they did, you and they were successful. Um, but that's them. For me, I decided not to do that. I decided to accept God's faith, a faith, in order to prepare for the for for for, for next time, for another time. Are you going to run in 2026? Uh, well, um, that is my intention to to run for president. I failed in in the last in 2016. So probably in 2016, you, may, you, you never know. It depends on God, you know, right now. But we cannot tell. We are going to evaluate uh, with time. We are going to evaluate and see whether, whether we are truly ready to, to run again. But in, in my mind, that's what I have. That's what you have. That's yes, your plan. Yes, in my mind, yeah. Uh, your, your, your 433 book that you wrote, I mean, it's quite interesting because you borrowed this from the football format. Uh, you don't have many people who... Uh, talk to the ladies, for example, they are not interested in football. Or you talk to the older citizens, they don't know what football is about, they don't know what 433 is about. How do you go about explaining this to them, for them to understand? Yeah, actually, this is an uh, intellectual approach first, you know, yes. because, you know, those uh, <laughs> women you're talking about, yes. others, most of them, they, they don't read. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, um, the idea is already here. So it depends on how we are going to explain it to them later on. You know, we can use local languages in order to explain them. But like 433 attack, I, I think almost even if you don't know football, football, but at least you you, you do hear it. Um, and in the Gambia, everybody loves sports. I know there is a particular football team that you support. Likewise, me. Likewise, the president and others. So um, you bring. It, it means you have 11 pillars. 11 pillars. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, uh, the, the, the a team, a football team has 11 players. Yes. From the goalkeeper to the forward player. Yes. Now, which is your most important priority? Because I have seen peace and stability yes. as priority number one. Yeah, the goalkeeper, yeah. Yes, as priority number one. Mm -hmm. Why peace and stability and leaving out, well, the orders coming later? Yeah, remember what uh, President Jame told to uh, Mr. Barrow, uh, President, uh, His Excellency Adam Barrow, that in his last word he said, Mr. President, without peace, you can't achieve nothing. It's, it's applicable here. Without peace, we cannot achieve nothing. Absolutely. This is uh, Jame, your, your, your model to <laughs> I mean, go by when it comes to some of these issues he's my former he's a former president <laughs> of the government but do so you believe in his views like his uh, let's say philosophical views that yes, would yes some i believe some in of some. his philosophical yeah, views yes, like like this one um the issue of if that is no peace forget about yeah he's, he's uh, a, he, uh, uh, development that, that, that's a general saying yeah. but i just want to attribute it to him yes you know maybe for a reason but uh, i believe that you know uh, Jame was a former political, uh, former uh, former president. You know, he did a lot for the country, and we also need to respect that also. Okay, let me ask you then. I know you have the issue of the economy mm -hmm. in your 433 formation. I mean, the economy, Gambia's economy, has been ripped apart by the by the various problems in going on in the world. The pandemic, for example. If you were given the chance, what would you do specifically? In at least improving the economic condition of the of the country yeah you know you know every economy you know you have to have a base um i think the basis of our economy is like our gdp if you check i'll look at our gdp you know we have uh, we benefit a lot from remittance we benefit a lot from remittance people sending semester sending money 
for our families to, to, to live. And I think we have to move away from that. Uh, you know, we also have uh, tourism, uh, the, the, the tourism sector, we have that, okay? For example, Dubai, uh, when uh, they had, uh, Dubai is, an, uh, uh, is a country that depends on their natural resources previously. So their king said, let's build, they will come, okay? And from that, they decided to build. That's why Dubai is what it, what it is today. And they, don't, they no longer depend on, on tourism, but they, uh, on, on oil resources, but they depend on, on tourism, you know, the, the uh, benefits they have from tourism. People are coming, moving and coming. So we have to improve the tourism sector as well, but we have to build. This is why I said we have to move our capital city from Banyul to, to uh, the center of the country. Where Soma. Soma. You, you yeah. want it to be moved to yeah. Soma? Yes, yeah. Soma and Farafenya combined together. We use that whole area, region, in order to build, to reconstruct. Because if you see, look at Soma, Soma it is a center. Where if you come from Zigansaur, you pass there. Guinea-Bissau, you pass there. If you come from the east, from Basse, you have to pass there. If you are going to Dakar, Kaulak, you have to pass there. If you come in from, uh, from our end here, Combo, you have to pass there. So Soma and, 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 and Farifany is a center. And when President, during the presidential election, when President, but, but when, 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 okay, when President well. Barrow uh, went there, he told them that, you know, I heard that, you know, they said Soma is a capital. So that is my that is my idea, and so we need to build. We need to rebuild. So by building, uh, we will have many. Uh, we we will employ many people, and at the same time, it will help us to to, to grow our infrastructure. We have to invest in infrastructure. We have to invest invest in agriculture. We have to invest in tourism. We have to invest in all those areas that are neglected in order to lift our economy. So, President Barrow, you support the president. He wants an NPP majority parliament. Is this what you want to? Yes, that's what I want, definitely. Why? Yeah, because uh, if he has a majority at the, parli parli at the parliament, he would be able to uh, pass uh, the, the necessary bills that he wants to uh, develop this country. And he wants to form his new cabinet just right after the parliamentary election. Do you want to be part of that parliament? Uh, cabinet, sorry. Uh, um, I, for saying that I don't want to be part of this cabinet is hypocrisy. Because uh, early on, I've already said I come to the, pre I come, I endorse the president in order to work with him. So if I am lucky to be part of his cabinet, I'll be grateful. Which role would you want? Whatever role I have is. So you are an all rounder. Whatever all role given to you. Versatile player. You are versatile. Yes. You can handle any role. Yes. Any well, role. Uh, Bachilo was also here and he said he's an, an all rounder yeah, too. You know why we said that? Uh, yes. Know, a ministerial position, a directorship, is nothing other than a managerial role. You know, you, you, I, I, you I know been, people have always reduced you, you, it to you, that, yes. but I don't always agree to that. Okay. The issue of saying, oh, okay, it's just a political appointment. You don't need, really need to be an expert in that ministry. Yeah. I think if you are an ex expert in that ministry, that brings added value. It brings at least some li li little bit of, I mean, comprehension and understanding of what you are really dealing you with. You don't need to be a surgeon to be, to be, to be, to be a health minister. You, need, you don't need to be a surgeon, you don't need to be a nurse, you don't need to be a medical doctor. You know, all that you need to do to, to have is to have the capacity to, to be able to manage different aspects, developments, you know, that are within that, that group. Because it largely has to do with policy, policy issues, yeah, policy, right? Yeah, you, policy, you have to be smart, right. you know, you have to be intelligent, and you have to love, you have to be a patriot, you have to love your country. So, should you miss out in terms of the president's new cabinet? Where do you think you will be useful at? Well, I don't know, because the president, you know, after uh, the victory, the landslide victory, he, he, he welcomed us to the state, uh, to, to, to state house. He called us. He invited us there. And he told us one thing. You see, the positions, they are here. But we can only be there one at a time. And that is quite true. So if you are not there this time, you, you can be there another time. So it is uh, including the president. And that I will say including the presidency. The presidency also is here. And we can only be there one at a time. 
we cannot all be there at the same time. So it looks like, looks like this is giving the president some little bit of headache in terms of it's too many of you and only a few people will be able to get in at a time. So the president will have to assess all of you and, and, and choose from these many people which ones make his cabinet uh, first. Yeah, the, the, the president is in intelligent, you know, he's a, he's a very intelligent person, he knows what he wants, he's just like the coach, you know, you select your 11, you know how to select, if you choose this 11, they say, okay, the other one will say, I have to start, the other said, no, I was supposed to start, so it's, it's always like that, you'll always have this, so it just depends on the president, just to see, you know, the best team um, that, fit, that is good for the country, and he chooses. Yeah. So let's talk about... Um, how you people went about winning this election. There's been allegations galore out there that you manipulated the, the poll. You, <laughs> you registered non gambians foreigners. You let foreigners vote in this election. Um, in fact, you even stole the election. In terms of the foreigner issue, I mean, uh, what do you make of that? that yeah, I think for that the court has already decided on that. So well, the court did not decide anything. The yeah, court yeah, only yeah. stopped at saying UDP, the way you went about filing your your case is, is, is incorrect, <laughs> and then the case was thrown out. That okay, was what okay, happened. But hence the court didn't uh, didn't talk about it. So how can I how can I talk about it? The court is competent. But you've about heard that. about the claims. We we've all heard about how. To what do you make of the claims? Yeah, I I think. Uh, they said it. I don't know why they said it. So I have. I don't have the approval. Is it your belief and conviction mm -hmm. that only Gambians voted in the December 2021 presidential election? Yes, that's what I believe. Because as long as you have been given the documents, the national documents, you are a Gambian. So how you get it, it's not my problem. <laughs> well, fair enough. So your book. I have. I have come across. The, uh, one of the aspirant presidential candidates in the G Gambia Football Federation, I mean, presidential election, Sadiwa Kamaso, he is using, some, he's using something similar. The starting 11, you have the 4 3 3 attack formation, football, I mean, it's all similar. How do, I mean, who, who stole whose idea here? <laughs> who stole, did you steal his idea or he stole your idea? Okay, <laughs> okay, first of all, I have to say that, you know. Um, I'm very much happy yes. that he associated my idea with him. Yes. Okay, I started. So this is so your obviously, idea, obviously, because you know. I don't know, so I'm no, just asking. No, yes. no, the presidential elections was in October. It yes. was in was in December. Yes. And I made my declaration on, on uh, October the 10th. So it's on the social media. It's everywhere. 433 with this formation. So it is very obvious that this is my idea, and it is solely my idea, and never before. Um, you've, you've never you've, you've seen this uh, nowhere before, so uh, obviously this is my this is my the, this is my original idea. So he needs to pay me dues, you know. Copyright dues. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, he needs to pay me dues. Yeah. Or intellectual property dues. Yes, yes. Whichever Conception. you call it. Yes, I'm happy that he he he, he used my concept. But he needs to pay me. He needs to pay you. Okay. So let me also ask you about your this. I mean, is this an academic title, professor? Is it an academic title, or you're just being called professor because you are a teacher, as it happens in 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 the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is um, as you said. This is uh, uh, in the francophone context. Uh, uh, professor d'enseignement secondaire. Okay. If you are a high school teacher. Uh, there are a lot of processes that you undergo in order to become that, to become a, 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 a professional teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, it means, for, in my case, I have my master's, and then I start for a competitive exam, and then you are given this. And the president himself gives you this title, Professor d'enseignement secondaire. In this context, professor means professor, a high school professor. A, a teacher. Yeah, a teacher. Yeah. So that is, the, that is the francophone, in the francophone uh, context, not... Um, university, um, academic, PhD, yeah, academic, PhD, yeah, yes, academic, yes, academic, academic yeah, well, yeah, context. Yeah. So okay. this is. Uh, I think I think that's clear. So I mean, I I will leave you now because you are <laughs> you are going a little far. And it's Ramadan, uh, and you need to uh, be home. But thank you, Professor uh, Moruba, for coming on my show. I know we wanted to do this early early enough, but we could not. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate. Uh, you coming on the show tonight. Thank yes, you. thank you. I would just like to greet all my 
uh, supporters, you know, especially the supporters of the Afro movement. You know, I'm the yeah, found, found you're found of, of Afro movement, Afro -movement, African federalism and republican orientation. Mm -hmm. So we are partner partnering with the president in trying to elect or re-elect his MPs. Currently, we are working with uh, the Olinda constituency and Nyamina East constituency. Uh, Honorable Abdullah Sise, we are wishing him uh, good luck. And also Honorable Dawda Jeng of Nyamina East, we are also wish wishing him uh, good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Professor Ba, thank for you, coming. Ma. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you once again. Yeah. So, um, thank you. That will be all for me, uh, from me tonight. Uh, we will be back on Friday. Until then, uh, goodbye from me.